Hi everybody, how are you all doing? This is Mark again with, yes I know, another video of new uh, comic book memorabilia again. This one is all about stamps. Well, all about stamps, it's about a specific set of stamps. This year is the 75th anniversary of a comic that if you've lived in, a, in lived in the UK or know anybody from the UK who's ever read a comic they will probably tell you they've know this comic it's called the dandy it's a kids comic and it's been going for 75 years this year its actual birthday is on the 4th of December and I'm not too sure of the the uh, the actual state of the uh, state of its place now in the world's oldest running comic book. I know that it was ran about the third oldest comic because there was Detective Comics which was first brought out in I think it was January 1970, no, sorry 1937 I think it was and there's also I believe a French comic that has been going on a lot longer than that as well and I can't remember the name of it at the moment, as to, as, at the moment in time. Um, but this stamp set here, stamp collection, is to commemorate 75 years of the dandy of, in publication. It's gone through a lot of changes over the course of these 75 years. Just recently, it went from a weekly comic to a monthly comic, and they changed the name of it to Dandy Max. Still kept the same numbering and I think it's over about 3,500 issues now that the dandy's been going on for. Um, so yeah, this is the collector's set. I won't show everything for the collector's set. This, this basically got the stamps which are brand new, haven't been used. There's a little cardboard sleeve which I won't show on here because it, I don't think it'll be picking up pretty well on there. But it's got some information on the different comics that are shown in this stamp collection. And also there is a small replica of the actual first issue of the Dandy comic. Which, you know, it's pretty cool. Things like characters like Keyhole Kate, Jimmy and his Grockle. I'll see if I can show you show you this very briefly. Hopefully the camera won't go out of focus. There you go. There you go. Hopefully it'll go back in focus again. <laughs> um, but yeah, from I'll just uh, show you the the actual comics from top left. Sorry, top right. From that one there, I can never tell which one it's supposed to be. That one there is the dandy which is one of the longest it's definitely the longest running british comic and it's either the second or third longest running comic in the world as i said detective comics was the second longest running comics in the world comic in the world and then dc had the bright idea of cancelling it and renumbering it from number one which took it out of the running for the longest running comic it with a consecutive numbering system on it and next to that is the Beano, which had, which is the second longest running comic in the UK, and that came out in 1938, so it's a year younger than the Dandy. And the character, sorry, the character on the first stamp, the Dandy, the Dandy comic, is Desperate Dan. The character on the second stamp of the Beano is the original Dennis the Menace. The third stamp is the Eagle, which. Oh, what was it? The Eagle came out. Eagle come out in nineteen fifties, and that has Dan there on there. You've got the Topper, which come out in nineteen fifty three, and unfortunately, like the Eagle, no longer exists. And that character is Minnie the Minx. Next you have the Tiger. 
which came out in 1954, and the character there, that, that blonde-haired character there, is Roy of the Rovers, who is a football star. And again, the Tiger comic, unfortunately, no longer exists. Roy of the Rovers was so big that he actually got his own weekly comic, and he also had his own comic book strip, which I believe was in the Mirror, the Daily Mirror and the newspaper in this country. And on the bottom, you have Bunty, which is a, a girl's comic, which came out in 1958. And I'm not quite sure about the um, the characters. I believe those characters are called the Four Marys. And I'm not too au fait with uh, Bunty, because obviously it was a girl's comic, and, you know, boys don't read girls' comics, do they? <laughs> Next up we have Buster, who, uh, with the character also called Buster, and he was supposed to be the son of another character called Andy Cap, who was another big newspaper strip character in the UK for quite some time. And so the Buster come out in Fur brought out in uh, May of nineteen sixty. Next you have the Valiant, which was a a boys comic. It was sort of in the vein of 2000 AD, but it had a lot of war stories in it, which was the norm for a lot of boys comics in those days to be war stories. You had Valiant, Battle, Warrior, Victor, so yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, war story anthology comics that come out in the UK in the 60s, 70s and early, early to mid 80s. And that character is, I believe it's the Steel Claw. Yeah. Interesting to note that also from the Valiant comics, you also had the uh, the character. Um, there was a group of characters. I don't know if you ever remember. Wildstorm brought out a mini series called Albion, and that had characters. Uh, like Kelly's Eye and and all that. Well, those characters were actually based on the comic book characters from the British Weekly Comics. Okay. And next, you have another girl's comic called Twinkle, which came out in 1968, and that character is completely unknown to me. <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, so anybody who knows what character that is from the comic Twinkle, please comment down on the bottom of it. I'd like to know. And possibly the most well-known one on there is 2000 AD and of course Judge Joe Dredd. Now, sadly, that out of all these comics, there are only three comics that are still out now. That's the Dandy, the Beano and Judge Dredd. Apart from Bunty and Twinkle, I have read at least a hundred of each of these comics when I was younger. You know, that's that, and that's a, a, a small you know, um, amount compared to the amount of issues that they actually were brought out. And you know, these comics gave so much joy to kids in this country years ago way before computers, way before MP3 players and the internet. These things were what every kid wanted to have. And, you know, every, every Christmas you would get an annual that would be from one of these comic companies, from one of these comics. You know, and they've just brought so, many, so much joy to so many kids over the years. And I'm really happy that the Royal Mail in the UK have brought out these comics to finally showcase how you know how influential actually comics are really so there you go hopefully that was interesting to someone out there um, any philatelists out there or 
comic book fans or comic book fans who are philatelists. That would be a pretty good one. So, uh, yeah. I shall leave you with that. Thank you all for watching. As I said, hope it was interesting to some people. And... Again, thanks everybody for subscribing. If you've got any comments or any questions, down the bottom. As always, I love to read people's comments and answer to them and talk to them and that. I love talking to people about comics. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. And take care. Ta-ta for now.